Good afternoon once again. It's our third Saturday here in Sheffield as events bubble up to the boil over in the Crucible Theatre. And we've got a full house here in our Winter Garden studio once again. Everybody intrigued as we approach this final weekend of action in the Betfred.com World Snooker Championship. Now the four men who remain, O'Sullivan, Stevens, Carter and Maguire, have all been to the semi-final stages before, but only one of them has gone on to lift the trophy. That's Ronnie O'Sullivan, of course, a three-time world champion. He's an incredible 50 to 1 on favourite to reach a fourth Crucible final today. His Welsh opponent, Matthew Stevens, knew he'd need a near-perfect third session just to stay in touch with the rocket. We'll see that session next. Then we're live as Glasgow's Stephen Maguire aims to overturn a 10 frames to 14 deficit. He knows it can be done because John Higgins did it to him five years ago. But right now the captain, Ali Carter, steering a canny and clever route towards the final in what's an amazing return to health and form for the Essex Pro. And as Stephen Hendry packs away his cue, he'll reflect on his epic tussles with Jimmy White, a rivalry that defined the 1990s in this sport. I don't know, I used to love the nightclubs and the gambling and, um, you know, Stephen used to love picking up the trophies. <laughs> Well, in lifting one of those trophies, you had to come from a long way behind. It's a different mindset, isn't it? Well, you realise you can't afford any more mistakes. You've got to play almost perfect snooker to get back into the match. Stephen Maguire and Matthew Stevens, exactly the same problem? Slightly different. Steve Maguire has done really well to get the last frame last night, so he's still very much in the match. Matthew Stevens, I feel, has got nothing to lose. He just goes to come out today and play his natural game. OK, but there's every chance that the Rocket will be in the final. being written off, I thrive on proving people wrong, I find that a great motivation tool, so I, I don't feel that like I could ever be defeated in that way, you know. I'm pretty reliant on my own brain and believe that you're in control of your own destiny. Uh, in Senna, I, actually I don't like meeting my heroes, but he probably wasn't politically the most correct guy, but you know, he stuck to his guns and he believed in what he believed in and I kind of believe in what he believed in, you know, I'm definitely not an Alain Prost. So I never feel really guilty about it, sometimes I, feel, I wish I didn't have that old bar of fruit and nut, but I know that I'm getting up to train the next day, so it doesn't really matter. I'm looking for another career, yeah, exactly, I'm starting to start thinking about stuff and what would I like to do, and, you know, I've got, you know, I want to try and win a few major tournaments first, you know, I still think I've got a few more wins in me, but once I think I can't do that, I'm going to move on. I'm kind of quite proud of my de determination. My, my dedication, my determination, my will to succeed, my ability to try and you know, get up and come back from adversity. I'm kind of quite proud of having them qualities, I suppose. I'm great talent. I probably should have done more in the game, and he'll say that himself, but. Obviously a very, very great player. In terms of his talent and his game, he should have been at the top of the rankings his whole career and he should have won so many more tournaments. He's a man that rises to the big occasions all the time. Every player plays better with confidence and he's certainly getting that under his belt. I think people enjoy watching him play in the way he goes about his business, he doesn't mess about. Very fluent, very attacking. He's such a lovely fella. Every, every time we see each other we always talk about our kids. Great, great guy. So we'll always have a laugh. Been in all kinds of finals, 13 or 14 finals in his career. Underachiever. If he wants it enough, then he could go out and win the titles. If he was a bit more serious, he'd win a lot more tournaments. Well, the atmosphere, absolutely electric. Thank you, ladies. looks in absolutely devastating form here, Matthew. All of a sudden the scores are level at five each.
I have to say, it's, it's always magical when you make a century. The alarm bells are ringing now. Boy, this would be some shot. He's trying it. That's five frames in a row. There is the 68th century at this year's Betfriend.com World Championship. It has been an unbelievable session from Ronnie O'Sullivan. And he goes into the lead by 11 frames to five. Please welcome a player in his sixth Crucible semi-final. Great to see his return to the top. He won 11 in a row against Day in the quarters. He's under pressure here, but he has the game and he has the belief. Twice a World Championship finalist, former UK champion, he's the Welsh Dragon. He's Matthew Stevens. And now, please welcome the most naturally gifted player ever to grace the modern game. He has lit up the crucible for the past fortnight. He's won six in a row in every match so far. One word sums up his performance over the last 14 days, sublime. Bidding for a fourth World Championship final, he is so fast, blink and you'll miss him. The Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan! <laughs> And that was the scene at 10 this morning as they resume this best of 33 frames semi-final. 17, the magic number. And Ronnie, well, just six frames shy of the target at 11.